Thank you. She should be here any minute. You can fill her glass, too. Oh, very good. 35 years. 35 years since we've seen each other. <laughs> wow. That's like even before I was born. <laughs> Uh, would you ladies like to start with a drink? Oh, yes. Hmm, let's see. Hmm, I don't drink much, but let's split a bottle of Merlot. <laughs> That's red wine, right? It is. <laughs> is Merlot okay with you? Yes, it's fine. <laughs> One bottle of Merlot coming up. <laughs> How did we let 35 years go by without ever visiting? Uh, life, you know. Sheila, you should come visit me in Santa Fe. The air is so warm and dry and lovely. Now, you run a dance school, right? I remember how you love to dance. <laughs> oh, I do. I can't as much as I used to, though. I have arthritis in my ankles. Ain't getting old fun. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Well, uh, I'm going to need a little more of this if I'm, <laughs> I'm going to get happy, kiddo. Uh, you're supposed to taste the wine and see if um, you approve of it. Oh. I approve. <laughs> very good. It is a very good mer... lot. <laughs> Thank you, it is. Thank you, Ken. I will be right back to read you ladies and specials. <sighs> well, so, you, you've really made something of yourself. President of your own company. <laughs> yes, I started Lend a Hand over 20 years ago. We're now in Maine and New Hampshire. I think that's <laughs> wonderful. All those elderly people out there. I remember my grandmother. She had such a hard time cleaning her house. My mom tried to help, but she was too busy. Yes, it's been a very fulfilling career. Jimmy's going to take over after I retire. Jimmy's my son. I didn't know you had a son. And two grandchildren. Oh, how wonderful. Art and I tried to have kids, but it never could, never worked. I think that was part of the reason why we got divorced. Uh, would you ladies like to hear the specials? Yes, thank you. Uh, we have a prime rib au jus with your choice. Oh my goodness. Don't you think he looks a lot like Michael? Who? Michael Edgewood. <coughs> you must remember him from our class. Yes, I do. Oh my goodness, he's going to be there tomorrow night at the reunion. It's our 35th class reunion. Oh, we have a prime rib on you. <laughs> With your choice of mashed or baked potatoes and a fresh vegetable. Oh my goodness, you really do look like him. <laughs> you sure your dad's name wasn't Michael? Uh, no, ma'am. Uh, but we do have an antipasto with a side. Uh, well, Michael and I have been emailing, Sheila. <laughs> I finally got on that Facebook thing, and, and, and that's, that's when we started talking. Great. <clears throat> Let Ken finish uh, with, with the specials. Okay, okay. Well, I'm sorry, Ken. I get so excited at times. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I forget myself. I'll have the antipasto. Uh, did you want to hear the rest of the specials? Um, no. <laughs> I know I'll want antipasto. 
Okay. And you don't have to finish. I'm going to get the same thing I always get. Your lasagna can't be beat. I completely agree. I'll put those orders right in. <laughs> you remember Michael? Yes. And he's divorced. In fact, we both got divorced about the same time, five years ago. You sound like that schoolgirl with a crush. I know, but I can't help it. <laughs> you know, seeing you here now, and Michael tomorrow night, it'll be like graduation day. It was just yesterday. Maybe with some gray and missing hair. <laughs> Michael doesn't have gray or missing hair. Well, okay, some gray, but he still has a lot of the blonde left. I saw his pictures on his Facebook page. <laughs> Handsome as ever, and he never had children. That's probably why he's not gray. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> yes. um, so how long are you staying? Two weeks. I have a lot of family to visit. Seems I was the only one who moved away. And Michael and I were thinking about going to Acadia and doing some hiking. We've planned this all by email. Everything but the wedding, it sounds like. Um, look, Allison, you haven't seen him in 35 years. Maybe you, you should just calm down and um, wait till you actually see him in person. Sometimes reality is, well, more real than emails. <laughs> uh, I am terribly sorry, but we are actually all out of the lasagna. Did you want me to read the specials again, or did you want some more time with the menu? Oh, dear. Um, well, I guess I'll, I'll have... Um, it, doesn't the, he look like Michael even just a little bit? You know, about 30 years young. No. <laughs> <laughs> you sure your father's name wasn't Michael? Just kidding. Oh, I'll have the chicken parmesan. Very good. <laughs> I am sorry. I get so excited about things. I know. That's one of the reasons I love you. Your youth. But yes, let's not say the M word for just a little bit. It's just rough being single. I'm so jealous of you and, and Lester, right? Yes, Lester. This fall will be 30 years together. I bet he's a great husband and father. And grandfather. He is. Well, he's actually Jimmy's stepfather. Uh, we married when Jimmy was four. Oh, then who's the father, if you don't mind my asking? <laughs> well... <laughs> You must have gotten <laughs> you, yeah, you must have gotten pregnant pregnant right after we graduated. Yep. <laughs> uh, this is horribly embarrassing, but we just sold out of the chicken parm. <laughs> it's been an unusually busy night. <laughs> Did you want me to read the specials again? I want a hamburger. You don't want a hamburger. Get something better than that. Get her the prime rib special. This is on me. I want a hamburger. <laughs> no, prime rib. I won't hear of anything else. Hamburger. <laughs> Mooey. <laughs> Rare! <laughs> prime rib. Rare. So which is it? The, the hamburger or the, the hamburger prime rib? Ladies, I really need to get this order in. I have other tables I need to be attending to. Prime rib. Prime rib it is. <laughs> Very good. You know, I forgot you had a way of us always doing what you wanted. That's not true. Yeah, it is. I was just along for the ride. You were the life of the party. We did things you wanted to. It's okay, it really is. I liked hanging around with you because you made my life more interesting. Doing things I'd never dream of doing myself, 
thinking of the funniest things. <laughs> hey, do you remember that time when we were late to school and they asked us why? And I said, we got lost in the fog. <laughs> I do. I remember how Mr. Wood looked so dumbfounded that he didn't even bother to write us off. <laughs> or how when we ended up with no dates for the senior prom, so we went ugly dress shopping, and then we wore them and we sat out on the beach and drank that horrible, nasty beer stuff of your father's. Narragansett. Oh. <laughs> I've never had a drop since. I didn't go to the prom, but I did go to the big blowout graduation party at the gravel pit. Oh, I always regret missing that party. Sounds like the whole class was there. It was. Including Jimmy's father. What do you mean? I mean, I that was the sorry again. <laughs> sorry. I forgot to ask if you wanted mashed or baked potato with your meal. Someone in our class got you. Baked. Who? Baked. Oh, what kind of vegetable would you like with that? Who is it? A broccoli. <laughs> no, look. Um, it doesn't matter. Lester is Jimmy's father. I mean, he knows. Jimmy knows Lester is not as bought a lot by his biological father. We actually <coughs> don't have broccoli. How about cauliflower? Then who is the father? Does he know? No. Okay, how about string bean or corn? <laughs> no, I, I mean, Jimmy's father doesn't know. Jimmy is almost 35 and could care less. It's not cream corn, it's, I hate cream corn. <laughs> You don't think he should know? No, everyone is fine with their lives as things are. Why go shaking things up? No, it's not creamed corn. I hate creamed corn too. Great. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Look, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's just a lot having this secret in myself. I've considered so many times finding, uh, finding him and telling him, but he had his life and I had mine and no one seemed to be hurt by this omission. Okay, but can you tell me who it is? I promise I'll never tell a soul. Cross your heart and hope to die? Of course. Remember, we're blood sisters, back in fourth grade, we made a vow, a sacred vow, to be friends forever. Okay then, I'll tell you, it was... Guess who? Michael! <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back, I've got to take this. Oh, hi Mike. Oh, nothing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess you're fine for water. <laughs> It was Michael. I'm sorry? It was Mike. Oh, ah, uh, yeah, the, the water's fine, but I think we're going to need another bottle of Merlot in a bit. <laughs> Very good. Uh, you know, it's not too late to change your order to a juicy red hamburger if you'd like. I personally recommend pepper jack cheese for it uh, complements the Merlot quite well. Sold. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm just like a kid again. I forget what it's like being all excited to see a boy. I know, how old am I? It's like feeling 18 again. Not bad for an old dancer with arthritis. <laughs> so, you were saying? I was saying that I want you to tell me all about what you've been doing in New Mexico for the past 35 years. Just tell me everything. Oh my goodness. Where to begin? Well, right at the beginning. After graduation, I went out and bought this old car 
and then we'll travel.